He's guilty. The man who abducted, beat, and molested a nine-year-old girl in his Lafayette home faced a judge today and admitted to all of it. James Chadwell II is now going to prison for the rest of his life. Today at 5, Emily Longnecker watched it all happen from inside the courtroom and says the guilty plea saves jurors from a horrific trial. Tippecanoe County Prosecutor Pat Harrington says he is relieved that this case didn't go to trial because the police body camera footage that a jury would have seen is some of the most shocking he has ever seen. So bad, Harrington says, that many who have viewed it have had to have counseling. Handcuffed and dressed in a prison jumpsuit, 42-year-old James Chadwell II told a Tippecanoe County judge he was guilty of trying to murder a 9-year-old girl, first luring her to this home with the promise of petting his dog. In front of the little girl's family who was in the courtroom, Chadwell also admitted to beating the child, strangling her to the point of passing out, and then sexually molesting her in his basement. It's disturbing that a human being could ever treat another person in this manner. Chadwell told the judge he suffers from schizophrenia and post-traumatic stress disorder and had been drinking April 19th when he attacked the little girl who lived nearby. Police later found her in Chadwell's basement on a second visit to his home that same day after the girl's mom reported her missing. On their first visit, Chadwell told police the girl had been there but had left. Officers doubled back when neighbors said the last time they'd seen the nine-year-old was with Chadwell. You heard him admit that his intent was to kill her. Had they not gone back, yeah, the results may have not been as they were today. The case received wide media attention after Carroll County Sheriff Tobe Lesenby said they were investigating if Chadwell could be connected to the murders in Delphi of Abigail Williams and Liberty German. But Chadwell was never named a suspect in the case. Friday, his defense attorney spoke to that issue. There's nothing to suggest that I've seen or that I've been told that he was part of that, so I don't believe he had anything to do with the murders of Abigail and Liberty. Prosecutor Harrington said he hadn't discussed the possibility of a connection between Chadwell and the Delphi murders with anyone. They keep that investigation very close to themselves, uh, and they should. Harrington remained focused on his case, saying the only closure for the victim was that the criminal case was over. Every day is a day where they are trying to recover from their grieving process. Chadwell's sentencing is set for December 16th. He could face up to 160 years in prison.